Welcome to Freeway Moments. This time we will be looking at text. As before, I will be using Freeway Express, so pro users will notice some differences in the interface. There are two ways in which text can be represented on the web, and I will be introducing you to both. The first kind of text we'll look at is graphic text. This will be output as an image when we publish the website. So, to create some graphic text, we first draw out a graphic box. We can then click inside this graphic box and type in some text. Now, we can use any font we want on our machine to display this text. So we select it, go to the inspector palette and choose one of the fonts in possibly your cavernous collection. I'm going to choose Metroplex and I'm going to make it 60 pixels high. Let's make this text more interesting. To start off with, I'm going to change the colour. I click on colour in the inspector palette and I can choose any colour from Apple Selector which opens up. I'm going to choose this dark blue. Because this is going to be output as a graphic, we can apply a number of other kinds of effects to this text too. So let's click on the text appearance settings button in the inspector palette and we can choose from a number of effects. We can say, for example, emboss the text, apply a scattery effect to it, put a drop shadow under it. What I'm going to do is to have um, an outline, an emboss effect, and a drop shadow. There we are. Let's just make our graphic text box fit the area we want it to occupy. The thing to remember about graphic text is in freeway it can always be changed. So I can always click in the text box, delete stuff, put stuff back in. I can even do this after I've rotated it. And of course I can spell check it as well. Of course you won't be able to do this with the graphic which is displayed in the browser, but in freeway you've got this great freedom to make wonderful changes to graphic text very very quickly and easily. Now let's look at HTML text. This is the text which can be selected in browsers and is a little bit more limited than graphic text because we are relying on the fonts present on the client machine to display it rather than rendering text in a graphic like I've shown you previously. So to start off with we'll draw out an HTML box. Now there are many ways I can get text into this box. I can type I can type in text, which I will do right now. But I can also import text as well. And I'm going to import a simple text file. And there we have it. We can also drag and drop text from browsers, pages, we can copy and paste text between applications as well. Let's apply some styling to this text now. So I'll select all the text and go over to the character styles in the inspector palette. We're going to choose a font. As you'll see, we only have a few to choose from here. This is because we have a safe set of fonts which are very, very likely to be on most machines connected to the internet. I'm going to choose Madonna. Now, if Madonna isn't present on the machine display in the um, website, there are a couple of fallback fonts defined in that set as well. So we'll fall back to Arial and then a standard default sans serif font. Now I want to change the size of the text. This is quite simple. Again, I select the text and use this size drop down in the inspector palette. We've got pixel sizes as well as relative sizes, which will be based on the default size of the client browser. I'm going to choose 11 pixels for the height of the text. I want the heading to be bold and centered and bigger. So I'll just choose the word heading. I will apply the bold style in the inspector palette and I will make it 18 pixels high. To make the make to make the text centered, I just click on the centered button there and there we have a heading with some text underneath finally i'd like to emphasize the first paragraph 
So I'm going to change its colour to a deep red and I'm also going to make it italic. So let's preview our site in a browser. We'll open it up in Safari. We have our graphic text at the top which is a simple GIF as well as our HTML text underneath which I can select, copy and paste and move into other documents if I want to. HTML text is indexed by search engines and is also very helpful for people who rely on um, speech readers and braille systems to display the websites for them. So remember to keep the majority of your text as HTML text to help people and search engines view your site correctly. Graphic text is great for decorative headers but really you don't want to use too much on a page because it will affect the way your website is viewed by other people and how it's indexed by search engines. In this moment we have looked at text. We have seen how we can apply any font we like and special effects to graphic text. We have also seen how we can input and import text into an HTML box and apply styling to it. We've also touched on the differences between the two types of text and how they are handled by various browsers and search engines. So, you now know enough to have a go at working with text yourself. Have fun with Freeway! <laughs>